I wasn't quite sure how to start this interview, but like all good things, it started when this tall drink of water climbed between my legs. Are we already beginning? I don't know. Was that the intro? I love it. That was a good one. Bridget McManus, I know you're not looking at me. I doubt that. I'm looking at you. Put, put a woman in a car for four and a half hours from LA and she is just putty in your hand by the time she gets here. Give her a little champagne on ice, a rose. Bridget, how was the drive? Uh, it was a lovely four hours. I listened to all my CDs and apparently I need new music. I have the worst CD collection ever. I have Phil Collins in my car. Wow. That's embarrassing. That's was it in the air tonight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> did you do the drum solo? I did the drum solo. I did all the solos. I even played the Tarzan one. Have you heard the Tarzan? This is so embarrassing. I was obsessed with Phil Collins like when I was like 20, and I was so excited because he did the soundtrack to Tarzan that nobody saw, like the cartoon Tarzan. And I got in line at Best Buy at like 9 o'clock in the morning to beat the line of people racing in to get there. I was the only one in line. I go inside. It's already in the discount clearance section because nobody wanted the CD. And Are you sure it was Phil Collins and not Genesis? No, it's just Phil. Oh my God. It's just Phil. Hi, Phil. <laughs> He's watching. He watches this. Um, are you comfortable? Is this because I get your up? legs were all curled up in the car? Yes. I'm, I'm oh my gosh. So she's double jointed. She was a cheerleader. Yeah. She was also a volleyball player. Ladies, what board do you want? So we just saw you and we're very impressed when we saw you at the comedy store in La Jolla. Oh, you were there? Yeah. Oh, yay. You didn't yay. see me? Uh, there was a lot of lesbians and it was very dark. I didn't mean to assume you're a lesbian. You're saying that, of course I'm not. What, the ace asymmetrical haircut? Just like that, you assume? I looked at you and I was like, she must be straight. Wrong until I saw your socks. But I have gay socks on. Oh my god, you are gay. I'm this super whole time gay. I was wondering. Yeah, you were wondering. It's like super gay. Yeah. Confirmed. I I am confirmed gay. So I I came out to my sister when I was 14, but I didn't tell my mom until I was 20. Now I read also that you are also from Connecticut. <gasps> I as am. I are you? Yes. Windsor, Connecticut. No. Way. Where are you from? Cheshire. You are. Yeah. Also, you're like a super awesome, rich, cool chick. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe six kids. You six kids. Yeah. You must have money if you have that many kids. What did you eat? Your parents drawers, wouldn't stop nice. having. You slept in drawers. Yeah, there was enough beds. <laughs> That's so weird. Slept in drawers. So wait, I have one very also awesome piece of information about you that I don't know if it has ever been talked about. You worked at Friendlies, and I just asked my California friends, cameraman, etc., camera woman. Um, Friendlies is not, I guess, a national chain, so she probably doesn't know what the cone head is. You don't know what the cone head is? I was an ice cream scooper. This is how I became lactose intolerant. I was an ice cream scooper. It was my first job I ever had. I actually scooped ice cream for Rebecca Lobo. Do you know who that is? She's a basketball player in Connecticut. I think she's now with the Suns. That's really gay that I know that. But anyway, so I made her a five scoop sundae. She likes strawberry and marshmallow. But anyway, so the, 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 the cone head is vanilla ice cream. So you get, you get this cute little um, like flower shaped dish. It's a, it's a vanilla scoop ice cream and then you dip a cone in chocolate sauce so it's got like a little brim on it. You put that on and then you put whipped cream on the side so it's got little ears and then you put Reese's peanut butter cups. Two black ones and an orange one for the face. What did I say? Peanut butter? Yeah, Reese's Pieces. I'm sorry. I yeah. Get it straight. When I read that you had once worked at Friendly's, I was like, oh my god, we're talking about the one this. At the airport, the one at the Windsor Locks Airport. No way. Bradley yeah, yeah. International? Bradley International Airport. I was the Friendly's girl. Before I knew I was gay, the the. Cone did you ever head. go there? Obviously. <gasps> oh my god, I probably waited on you. you must have. This is crazy. You I feel like we're. You don't scared. remember now, me? Now I feel like we should get oh even closer. Gosh, we should be. We over. should. We should be closer. Still not Talk about your wife for a minute. How is married life? Married life is super fly. We've been married for almost three years, uh, and we've never had a honeymoon. That's sad. But you travel all over the place. How is that? We travel together, so it's kind of like we go on honeymoons, but I'm working the whole time. Being married is amazing. If I never thought I was going to get married. I never wanted to get married. I was against it. I was like, monogamy is so dumb. And then... But now look at you. Clearly. I know. I think when you find your person, then you're, then you're good, and I feel good. We had love at first sight, and it was, uh, it was awesome. I, I really lucked out. You can have it, Mary. I promise are you. you. Sure? I'm po I'm positive. If I can have it, you can have it. Anyway. But but you guys are not only do you have a successful marriage, you have like the most high and powerful lesbian power couple, right? Yes. No, you I, I can name like uh, Ellen and Portia. Oh, uh, let me think who else who else tops it. Them. Pretty much everybody. It's, it's isn't Tegan and Sarah aren't they together? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, there's like every what there's like a gazillion. Yeah, exactly. They're looking a lot of like they've been together for a long time. Those two. Let's talk about your shows because you're all over every place. Logo, yeah. Tuesday, 4 a.m. Prime time. 
for lesbians, we're up at that hour because we drink coffee like at like truckers and people that are really depressed or alcoholics is my 4 a.m. time slot. Did you get hurt? What just no, happened? I just don't know how to hold this microphone to your lips. I'll get up. Hold on. I'll work. Maybe we should get. Maybe we should separate. Do you need some much, champagne? There's too, there's too much sexual tension. Leave room for the separate. holy ghost. Bridget and Mary. <laughs> Put it right here. They told it's me our school. child. We adopted. This is uh, Iman. <laughs> Iman. Uh, Iman, where's he from? Uh, she from? She's from. It's time to breastfeed. So can you lower the camera? My God, the only thing I like more than coneheads. My new show is called Bridget McManus presents That Time of the Month. And it's very funny. It's good times. It's supposed to be like um like the soup. I yeah, knew yeah, it. yeah, yeah, like the soup, like Joe McHale. Like yeah. I say snarky little bullshit and I introduce lesbian content. So like you, since you're hilarious, if you ever want to do anything, videos or whatever, and you want to put it on logo, you just say Bridget. Hi, and you talk into my, my hand, and I and you tell you send me everything, and then I put it on TV. Just like that. Do you want to be on logo? What just happened is she just is trying to give me a number. I'm pretty sure we put just had sex. Put your number on this paper. Exactly. Like put your number you know on what? this paper. Put your number. Sorry. It's for you like make all these videos. I saw. Um, don't hate the hater. What is it? Haters don't hate. Don't yes. Hate. It's very serious message. I'm working on a new one. I started today. What is it? called, I don't even remember what it is, I, I sang it in the shower, it is called Dry Humping's The Best Humping of All. Safety first. Safety first, thank you, mm -hmm. finally you get me. Safety first. It's about all the humping, like Wednesday's Dry the hump humping. day. I, and I, I, I grew up Catholic, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of good websites out there, mm -hmm. like BridgetMcManus.com. That's a good website, AfterEllen.com is a good website, entertain hers, mm -hmm. what? I'm like, are you sleeping with somebody over there at After I Ellen I am. I'm the editor, and she's... <laughs> She's probably home right now. It's uh, it's like 7:30. I'm gonna be taking the stage in like 20 minutes, and she's probably still in her pajamas working on a blog Tell post. Tell us something about Carmen that we don't know. Carmen is crazy about biscuits and gravy. She really? loses her mind. I do cook, and I'm a vegetarian, and I made her a pot roast for Christmas. Like I know she loves me, and we're in a monogamous relationship. But if somebody, if some woman knocked on the door with biscuits and gravy, I'm pretty sure she would leave with her no immediately. Way. She's obsessed. But if a vegetarian wife makes you a roast. Yep. That's how much I love her. serious. I have a question. Yeah. What if you, what if there's like someone out there and it's like, Bridget, she writes in, dear Bridget, how do I be funny? I think if you're funny, you're funny. And if you want to be a stand-up comedian, it's super easy. Just do it. Just go to chucklemonkey.com and find open mics because you can literally go from each state and find the open mics and start going up on stage and do two minutes, three minutes material and you'll suck at first because everybody sucks at first and then you get better and better and then you start booking shows. I actually have a stage in my house now. Did you know that? Did my living room has a stage, a platform stage and a Learjet and I have a microphone and an amp. My, uh, my friend Darren and I made it for me for my birthday and it's got a red curtain and we have a light set up and so my friends come over when they have shows and they're gonna be on TV. Yeah, well, like they wanna do it like my friend uh, Fortune. Who's gonna be on Last Comic Standing. So she came over and she practiced a set on my stage. It was pretty freaking awesome. So you gotta get a stage. The joke I used to say is the, um, I feel bad for my mom. My sister and I are both gay and I feel bad for my, my mother because she was a single parent. You know, she raised us all by herself because my dad left when I was really young. Okay. And when people find that out, they go, Bridget, that's it. That's why you're gay. Like my dad abandoning me affects my sexuality. And I'm like, no, that has nothing to do with it because sex with my dad was really good. So, I don't know. But that's, a, that's like the first joke I wrote. So that was like a, that's like a six-year-old joke. That's the first joke I ever wrote. And that's always the joke I say. Because it's dirty. This is the best interview I've ever had. I want the raw feed of this. Do you have an outro joke? Um, Throw it. Be Throw it. gay, it's super great. Yay, that's my outro joke. That's what you tell little people? Little, yes, little people. Yeah, little tiny people be gay. All little people in the world. Being gay is awesome, don't you agree? It is pretty awesome. Be gay, it's the only way. Good. Be gay. Thank you, Bridget McManus. Thank you, Mary. Hey, I am Bridget McManus, and you are watching Flawless TV. Oh, yeah.